You walk up and down the streets here in downtown Concord, you'll see small businesses that have signs like this one saying masks are mandatory just to walk inside the door. But a Harvard research group says these kinds of protections simply aren't enough. They argue lockdowns have to happen immediately. For small business owners like the Bost family, owners of Cabo Winery, they find themselves between a rock and a hard place. They want to protect public health, but they're also concerned about their future. I, I think to an extent, yes, we need to lock back down, um, but not, not to the extent uh, we did the first time. While there are no plans for stay-at-home orders in our area right now, one research group says that should change. Researchers with Harvard University say more than two-thirds of the counties in the greater Charlotte area are in the danger zone. Those are the ones that are shaded in red, with high counts of COVID per population. For those counties, researchers say lockdowns are needed. For the counties in orange, like Mecklenburg and Iredell, researchers say increased safety measures are needed. We should be in the red. You know, there's reasons that we are in the red. That's Avery County's county manager, Philip Barrier. Avery was the last county in North Carolina to have a positive COVID case, and now there are more than 100. Barrier says the school district will also be going back to virtual learning until after Thanksgiving, but no lockdowns are in the foreseeable future. We've challenged everyone, you know, to get back, you know, to get back on, on your social cir circle, you know, do more takeout, less time in the grocery store, you know, go to work, go to school, go home. I checked with counties all throughout the area. Some of them are increasing safety measures like Chesterfield County, South Carolina, which implemented a mask mandate this week. While others, like Gaston County, have no new measures on the table, but are hoping increased education will help slow the spread. And to give you an idea of how vast the spread of this virus has been, when that Harvard Research Group started looking at North Carolina back in July, only four counties in the entire state were in that red danger zone. Tonight, more than 40 of them are in the red zone. In Cabarrus County, Ryan Kruger, Fox 46.